With its tropical beaches, the U.S. territory of Guam is a popular destination for tourists. But these shores have seen a darker history. Another evil place. On this beach, it's alleged that dozens of children were sexually assaulted during trips with Boy Scout troops run by the Catholic Church, including Leo Tudela. A lot of bad history here. A review of court papers and extensive interviews by the Associated Press show systemic sexual abuse on the island going back to the 1950s. Tudela, Walter Denton, and Robbie Perez are three of the more than 200 victims who have accused Catholic clergy, teachers, and scoutmasters. Tudela says the abuse began when he was 13 and that he was abused by multiple church leaders. He says he was assaulted at the beach, a swimming hole, and a friary. That place is God's place, but some devil living in there. This is the building where I was raped in. Denton was 13 too when he says he was assaulted by Anthony Aperon, a priest who would become the island's archbishop. In lawsuits, he's now accused of assault by seven men, including Denton. He denies the charges. And I scream, I said, why? You know, I said, why did you do that to me? You know? I said, why? You suffer through it. You just take it as your lot in life um, and you move on. You, you just don't question the church. In a lawsuit, Perez says he was abused by priest and teacher David Anderson for several years, starting at age 11. Anderson now lives in Hawaii, near a church-run preschool. Uh, as you know, you've been accused in a case on Guam, and you're living here with children? Yes, for 20 years. It's no problem at all. Okay. Are these your children or a relative? No, family, yes. Family? Um, given the nature of the accusations against you, are they aware of that? No, they don't have to know this. It's a long, long time ago. Okay. I was young. person was young. I was very close to the family. Eighty percent of Guam is Catholic, which gave priests the power to protect each other when accusers came forward. The day Denton says he was raped by Aperon, he was given a stark warning. If you say anything to anybody, no one will believe you. Though a secret Vatican trial found Aperon guilty of abuse, no priest has faced criminal charges. The Vatican has appointed Detroit native Michael Burns as the island's new archbishop. He's urging other abuse victims to come forward. It's important for the Church of Guam to confront, in a good way, the evil that we found. The church has filed for bankruptcy and is selling properties to pay settlements. Tudela is now helping other survivors. Perez is a teacher in Louisiana. Denton raised a family and retired from military service. We're isolated, and that was the problem, that we were isolated from the world, and no one saw that. Not even the people of Guam knew that. But now that Guam knows about the abuse, each man hopes to see healing on their island and a reckoning for its church. Krista Fourier, Associated Press.